don't mind the sequins everywhere, I can't get rid of them. Um, but hello, welcome to this episode. What are we doing again? Finishing touches? Yeah, okay, sure. We're doing finishing touches today. So, I have to find the wig. I already, I already made the wig, um, before the movie even came out. I made the wig in 2020, probably after, like, the first trailer. Uh, no, I definitely made the wig after the first set leaks, which was months before the first trailer. But, you know. So, now I have to find it, because it is now three years later and I've moved. And it just got put into storage with all the rest of my junk. So I don't know where it is. I have an idea where it is. I'm pretty sure it's in this closet right here. Which is why I'm crouched on the floor and my legs hurt. But I also know that it's like behind this cabinet under the stairs. Maybe in a suitcase. Um, it also could be in a different closet. But I have one suitcase that I know I packed up with almost only Harley stuff. So I can only assume it's in there. There's also another wig I, I need to find as well. So, step one, find the wig. Step two, we'll get there later. Yeah, so it also could be up there. I I don't know what wig that is. There's also just a, there's wigs in that, in that pot. Maybe I look in there first, but um, otherwise, I have to get behind that, both of those pink suitcases, I, I believe. It's actually not as bad as it used to be. Honestly, because my sewing machines aren't in there anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna look in there first since I have much easier access to that. And then, um, and then if not, we'll dive in there. Why are there so many wig heads? No dice. We got, um, random brown wig. I think this is maybe a Wonder Woman wig. Um, Ahsoka headpiece, two eye masks, a mouse pad and a wig head so i guess that means we're diving in behind my roller skates okay i have no idea what this angle looks like honestly but this bag is going to be really helpful this is like my con prep travel bag yeah con go bag lol wait i definitely was gonna have to like look for this i'm pretty sure i just ripped the seal okay we got like caps <gasps> that's where all of my beads went huh. silicone boobs Q-tips. I have no idea what this cord is for. What is this? Baby powder? I don't know why I have this. Okay, really old business cards. Toothpaste? And gel. And also paintbrushes. I actually, I do know why there's paintbrushes in this. This is very helpful. I definitely don't need all of it, but I will take it. Why do I have so many skate wheels? Okay, now I really gotta dive in. This bag is just empty. Okay, I have two of these hard suitcases that I use to travel um, for cosplay when I am driving somewhere. I should get these out and empty them out into... OMG! My light! Okay. I should get these out and empty them because Lexi's gonna be driving so we can put a bunch of stuff in here like her Ahsoka armor can go in one. Okay, but one of these, I have two, one of them has Harley stuff in it. I don't remember which one though. That wasn't too bad. Okay, let me move some of the rest of this shit and then we'll just open these right here and go through them. Oh geez, I'm literally in the entryway. There's no space here for all this junk. Maybe I should like be putting this all back in a way that the suitcases can just go in and out. Oh my god, there's more freaking skate wheels in here. <gasps> Wait, these are like literally iconic. OMG. I need mean, another pair of skates. I have too many wheels, not enough skates. I say as someone who owns three pairs of roller skates. The camera is so crooked. Oh, wow. Uh. Okay, I feel like finding the angle for this is going to be impossible no matter what. Sure. I always forget how to open this one. It's a twist. Well, I didn't have to go looking very far. <laughs> okay, well, there's one wig. And now I just need to find the other. Okay, this is a Daenerys wig. That's almost also being a Daenerys wig. Oh, it's not. 
Wait, what wig is this? Oh, wait, it's two. I don't know what wigs these are. I'm gonna be completely honest. I think this is just like my black short wig. Hmm. Guys, I have genuinely too much stuff. This is literally an in-progress cosplay. Oh my god, wait, I actually got farther on this than I thought. <laughs> this shit's all pinned together. <gasps> oh, okay, I am actually gonna get this out. This is an option in case I don't like my Barbie costume. What's this? What wig is this? Okay, next. So this one was actually my grandma's. Good lord, that was loud. What the heck do I open it? Oh, I have this one upside down. Okay, yeah, so this one is my Harley. Get out this. Doing a project with this later, as well as this. Oh, and then I need these. That's good that I found these. And I need that. I don't need these. Oh, it's getting all roughed up in here. This gun, I love this gun. It comes up apart into two pieces, so it's less suspicious when you check it on a on a <laughs> plane. Should be. actually more empty than the other one. This one's gonna be a lot easier to empty to take, but it is bigger. Sweet! Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's work on this bad boy. Oh my gosh. You get to see more of my space and it's absolutely just cutting so much shit off. I like using this fabric wig head. You can absolutely use the styrofoam ones that are like 10 bucks at Michael's or whatever. They're just are the heads are slightly smaller. I for years used those ones and then I only got this one a few years ago. Yeah, I literally I only got this one because I was doing like super professional wig. Like all of my Daenerys wigs, I'll insert some photos. They were super complicated and it was just much easier to get a tight braid on this wig head that's like more wig head shaped. But okay, I'm gonna put this wig on now. This wig, I wanna say this was just one of my Daenerys wigs. One of many, because I think at one point I was up to like four different Daenerys wigs. But what I did, I'm pretty sure it might actually need some touch up. I just use, my favorite way to color synthetic wigs is to just use Sharpie. You literally, like any alcohol based marker, you can use to color a wig. Now it was three years ago that I colored this wig, so I don't remember exactly how I did it, but I'm pretty sure I just used Sharpie. So I'm gonna throw it on here. I'm sorry if the angles are also a little awkward in this. I'm gonna try not to stand in front of the camera. Okay, so I'm just pulling everything, making sure it's all lined up nicely, and then I'm gonna put in this pin at the back of the lace. The lace goes like that far, and then it's tracks, which you can absolutely see right now. Yeah, this is definitely an old wig. There's still glue in it. <laughs> These pins are definitely a little big to go in lace. Ta-da! And then I'm just pulling down the back to make sure it's like, sitting in like a semi-nice manner. Okay, and then I put a pin in the back as well. I don't know if you can even see it. Okay, wait, let me move the camera back. This is such an awkward angle. Because they were packed away for so long, they have these like awkward dents in them. So I'm going to redo the braids just to keep the sides separated. And then I'm going to one at a time steam them with just my clothes steamer to get everything straight. And then I need to remember what her wig looks like, honestly. But this is where we're gonna start. And we're just gonna do it one side at a time. Do the top piece, well, okay. We need to pull out the bang pieces and get those like cut and laying properly. Do the top piece and then style it in a way that it's not gonna look like this in the back the whole time. I'm back with my tools. I have my little steamer. Um, and I'm using bottled water in it because you want to use bottled or distilled water in your steamers so you don't get like all gunky. Hairspray, this one works really good on wigs that you really want to stay in place. Like bobby pins, some clips. I just have more pins because I like to, when I'm like structuring bangs, I like to like pin, pin it and manipulate it like that. And then I found, I found two, two rollers. Um, and then I also got a toilet paper roll because I like doing texture with that. Her hair isn't necessarily curled and it's not like super straight either. So I'm going to just like 
focus on the top and then um, probably add some texture. So I think I'm gonna pretty much fully do this as voiceover, just cause that'll be easier for me. Also, I didn't get any hair ties, any little hair ties. I haven't done this in so long, I don't remember what I even need anymore. But enjoy the voiceover cause I wanna watch a Sam and Colby video. So I'm actually not gonna recommend using the Sharpie method for dyeing the ends of your wigs because I have found that it transfers very easily. You'll see later in the video that exact same thing. I would still recommend the Sharpie method for dyeing the roots though, especially if you're going for like a grown out look. I've done that before and it works very well. Just be careful what marker brand you use because sometimes they will bleed different colors. I had one that was brown and it bled purple up into the to the rest of the hair and it just looked silly. But getting into the actual styling of the wig, when I first start out, I'm going to brush it out from the bottom upwards. That'll stop you from getting any knots in it as you're going. And then I like to keep all of my sections separate with braids. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing with the wig. If I'm keeping a section separate, I'm going to braid it, especially if I know I don't need it right then. Clips like these are also really helpful to keep the hair in place. You can see I literally pinned the bang hair that I pulled out onto a pin. This is a trick of mine I use constantly if your wig needs like flyaway pieces or bang pieces. Clipping them to a pin is actually really helpful. Okay, you can definitely hear my ice maker, but here's my plan right now. I pulled out this section and then I actually pulled out this section that's gonna become our bangs. It looks like in this photo, her hair is like pulled back at the top, but then there's almost like this section right here comes down over. Like this is definitely more tied back like over here. And then this comes down over it and then they're separated again into the pigtails is I'm pretty sure what's happening here. You can just barely tell between clips. I re-sectioned out that the top pieces and then I braided the middle section as well. So now I'm gonna pin it in place and just get everything laid out exactly where I want it. And then I'm gonna go in really heavily with the got to be hairspray so that I know that everything is perfectly gonna stay where it needs to stay while also simultaneously resectioning as I'm going as needed. You'll also later see me spraying the hairspray and then sticking pins in so that the hair stays exactly where I want it to. And this also kind of helps it stay flat. Sometimes you'll get little divots in it but usually like the more you do it, the less that'll happen. That technique also really works if you're trying to get structured bangs like a Disney princess's bangs, say Rapunzel's bangs. That's exactly how I did those when I made that wig was just using the pins and just very slowly sculpting the bangs with the hairspray basically. You will also definitely see me redo a lot of areas and re-separate and make sure that everything is just absolutely perfect because I'm very stickler about the way that my wigs look. Okay, my camera battery is literally... Okay, there's a hell of a lot going on in here right now, but I think I got everything but the bangs done. Like, this could maybe use a bit of shifting over. Pretty much, this is how it looks. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do now is do a bit of a makeup test and then put on the wig to cut the bangs to the right length. At least the wig is like semi-done. It's pretty much done. I think I'm pretty happy with it. There's a couple spots that could use just like a bit of touch up, but it's also stuff that I'm gonna notice and no one else is gonna notice. <laughs> so you guys are gonna get to see my lovely bathroom. OMG, I'm so excited for you. Okay, I think on like the actual day, I'm gonna try to find one of my tan wig caps, but you know until then. This is also the first time I've put on a wig when my hair wasn't this long. So, there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve, I think. I also think I'm gonna have my hair braided on the day, but 
you can go in there, bro. Okay, I also usually double wig cap it. I'm gonna, I love a good double wig cap. I also like, I like doing braids because then, <clears throat> I feel like you can better move around your hair and put it exactly where you want it. Then I also don't put on my wigs like everyone else does. And there's probably leftover time from, be from being Daenerys Targaryen. But I always start my wigs on the front. I'm rattling up where the ears go. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. So you gotta situate the sideburn pieces. And then, okay. then I'm gonna slide some bobby pins. Let's see where where is this? In like between the spots, and I'm trying to hit the tracks. We put them like under here. Ta-da! Fully hidden. And obviously, all my day, everything gets taped, but. I need like a roller, I think. Okay. I'm like procrastinating actually cutting anything. But, okay, this is good enough for today. For just cutting it. How's the back look? Oh, I don't have the hooks done up. Oh, this is also gonna be like one of the first times I'm cosplaying with the black in my hair. No, this is the first time I'm cosplaying with the black in my hair. What am I talking about? Okay. I think that's good keeps just sliding back because it's not freaking taped. Wait. Wait a minute. Hang on just a second. Who is she? Why am I so red? It's hot in here. Is it hot in here? It's definitely not. It's not hot in here. Okay, I need one more pin on the front here. Or I'm gonna freak out. So her bangs. Hang on, don't play Valorant. Oh, okay. So her bangs hit so I need to f I need to get them to sit up like okay I need to restart how they're hanging and so I'm gonna cut them I think like literally where this line is right here. I'm gonna cut them because then they have a little bit of a curl. Okay, at least this time when I'm cutting the bangs, there's no chance um, of me cutting my own hair because last time I cut artificial bangs, I cut my own hair as well. I have three different pairs of hair cutting scissors and some of them are sharp and some of them are not. Okay, what did I say like there? Oh! That was maybe a little bit shorter than it was supposed to be, but. I did it. Yeah, and then I'll put it back on the wig head and style the bangs so that they have a bit more of like a this shape and then also have like a bit of a curl on the bottom. While I have the wig on, I have an old heart tattoo that I'm gonna put on as well as I'm gonna put on red lipstick quickly and we'll do like a, this will be like a makeup test. The heart. As well as the towel. So, peel off. Okay, these tattoos are old, so I don't know how long <laughs> this tattoo paper lasts, actually. And the wig's freaking sliding back again. Okay. I haven't done this in ages. I'm gonna put it here. I feel like I need to shrink this heart, honestly. I'm sorry if this angle is dog shit. I'm not looking at the camera. I also definitely didn't take my makeup off underneath the heart. I 
I also, I don't know where my good red lipstick is. Maybe we'll try out this one. I usually use the Fenty red liquid lip for Harley, but I don't know where it is. Like all the rest of my cosplay stuff. My favorite lipstick is also missing. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that's gigantic. Right? Okay, so we have to shrink the heart a little bit. And then, oh my tummy. I just random ass, I think it's like a, oh, it's Estee Lauder lipstick. I'm gonna freaking get it in the bangs. Oh, it might just be a lip gloss. What? What's going on? Huh. It is most certainly just a lip gloss. Also got it like, fucking everywhere. Why don't I have any clips? This will help me. Do I look ridiculous? I hope so. Um the only problem is I don't I don't know which one it is. They're these little lipstick smokes that you've definitely seen in one of my TikToks. Oh, this one, okay. Hang on, there's a mirror over here, hang on. Oh God, I got that red lip gloss everywhere. I also ate noodles before I filmed this. Oh God, I should've used a lip liner. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I thinking? Oh! My lips are crooked. Like what happened, huh? Okay. Um. Good enough. There's red lipstick everywhere now. And also the wig's freaking falling off my head. This is also gonna be a test of how much it transfers onto my skin. Okay, the red side. Oh, the red side is transferring. Okay, I also need to like pin it under here on the day. This is why you do tests. This is what tests are for. Okay, let's see. Why is it falling off my head so bad? Okay. Well, so like this all needs help right here. But it doesn't look bad. My eyebrows also need to be darker. Um, I don't normally use my own shade of eyebrow pencil when I'm cosplaying, but I did because I just did my makeup today so that I could do this later. Okay, I was right. I started sweating and the red started going everywhere. So I'm going to attempt to seal that. I'm, also, I'm sweating my ass off in my bathroom right now. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take this off and oh, I'm sweating my ass off. Now I'm gonna go get everything else that I need done, which means tattoos. I need to rework some of the tattoos. So I don't know what you're gonna get to see for that, but we're gonna figure this out together. Uh, maybe just me, honestly. Okay, um, it's been a while since I just held the camera and it doesn't have a flippable screen, so I hope this angle isn't absolute garbage, but I've just been riddled with anxiety today because what I was doing to the wig didn't help, it actually made things worse, so I was like, I don't have the time to deal with this, so I, I ordered another wig uh, this morning. I just, I just stress bought a wig, and I don't even, <laughs> I think it's a human hair wig, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, it was like 80 bucks on Amazon, so how is it, I don't know, I don't know what I bought. <laughs> Man, I forgot what this was like, bro. Ugh. I literally, like, I didn't do anything else today. I sketched some tattoos, but other than that, like, I haven't done... <laughs> I haven't done anything. I was like, I need, I need to just, like, have a day off uh, from all of the, the stress and everything. And, and I just watched, I watched Stranger Things all day. <laughs> I don't know. That's my update. That, my update is stress. And I haven't done shit. <laughs> I got like two clips into editing this video and then I was like, nope, can't do it. Nope. Mm-mm. 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 
Oh, luckily, this is the finishing touches. Okay, I feel like this wig is doomed, and I know, like, I literally already bought, bought a backup wig, but I literally was just washing it out in the sink with dish soap forever, and it just was not, nothing was happening, and then it just was like, I pulled it out, and it's just running up the wig, and also my hands <laughs> are just neon pink, so <laughs> this wig is doomed, it like stained my counter, and the only other thing that I could think of was to just like put more dye on top of it. But then the water in my pot, can you see it? It's just plain water. It's purple for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why it's purple. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm so confused and I'm so confused, but I think I have a backup plan, maybe, but I still need that pot water to not be purple. <laughs> I'm a wreck. Okay, my current backup plan is I have these two packs of wefts that match my own, like, bleached hair color enough. And I'm currently growing out straight across bangs that are about the right length. So I'll just have to bleach my hair, like, next weekend if I have the time. Um, or, like, the week after. I don't know when I'm supposed to bleach my hair, but I'm gonna use my synthetic dye to dye each of these bundles one red one black and then i'm somehow gonna turn them into like just pigtail extensions to wear with my natural hair for this and like it's not gonna be exactly perfect because i have color in my hair i have like a black underneath on my hair but this wig is <laughs> gonna be the death of me and i know i ordered a backup but the backup that came sucks and it'll literally be better for me to just wear the backup as barbie on friday um, or on Thursday, and to just dye my, <laughs> to just bleach my roots and dye these wefts. So that's, that's my new plan, but I have to figure out why this freaking water is purple. Why are you purple? Oh, and it's fogging a lens, great. Okay, this is the setup. I got the, the weft of hair on <laughs> a set of chopsticks that I've broken apart tucked into the little protector sleeve thing and when I want to like dip it again I just take it off and I just dip it so I'm gonna leave this to sit and then I have another set of chopsticks to like you know give her some movement occasionally but I'm gonna leave this for a bit I'm not the color is just okay honestly I need more towels as well so I don't freaking drip red dye all over my white kitchen yippee I'm too impatient for this. Like, even my show isn't helping. It's been six minutes and I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for it to be done already. I'm also just so worried about it. And also, I hate that the dye, it just creeps up the entire thing. <laughs> this is why you use natural human hair wigs, I guess. You know, while I, while I already have the hot water, I, I may as well just dip this in and see if, see if that does anything to solve the, the bottom. Like, the the top's already um it's a little messed up already but we can at least stop the bleeding on the bottom and then you know have backup wig the reds are drying um i have to go to michael's tomorrow to get black synthetic dye because i don't have any synthetic black dye i only have regular dye for this side that's all i got for tonight oh i also i did the tattoos the tattoos are done i printed them out and i cut them out but I didn't film it because I printed them at work and there's lots of confidential stuff there. That's all I got, man. I'm truly in con crunch. I thought I was good. I'm not. Okie dokie, today we run errands. I definitely waited too long this morning to actually get out the door, but like I had to wait for Michaels to open because I couldn't go to Target first because I also need groceries while we're at Target getting other stuff. But we should hopefully be picking up the last stuff that we need for this. So we need black synthetic dye from Michaels, which I'm really hoping they have. So for another wig and yarn. And then from Target, I need some makeup, groceries, and stuff for another wig. A third additional wig. Okay, I absolutely scored a Michael. Well, okay. I got the dye at Michael's and then I also got the yarn I was looking for. They didn't have 
what I needed for the second wig, which is like a brown alcohol mark alcohol marker. Al why can't I say alcohol? Brown alcohol marker. Also, my hands are just shaking. Okay, but I actually think I'm gonna go home because literally as soon as I got here, I had to pee. I'm like about to pee on my pants. But I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna dye. Yeah, I'm gonna dye the wig. And then once that is like drip drying, um, I'm gonna go to Target. Cause I think the Target that's like, there's a Target right here, but I know the Target by my place is one of those Targets with the Ulta inside. So I think I'd rather go to my own Target and know where everything is and also have access to all the Ulta stuff for what I need. Yeah, okay, that's the plan. That's the plan. Oh, we're actually getting outside and touching grass in an episode. Weird. I lied. I'm driving to Target. I can take the freeway instead of taking surface streets. So that makes my life easier from here. Okay, I went I went a little crazy at Target, but it's Target, so how can you not? Um, but <laughs> I got everything I needed, but I had to get hair dye for a different cosplay that I'm doing. Um, and I'm using a human hair wig for the first time because I got it for something else. It's not going to work for that. So then I can reuse it for this. Um, and I also was picking up like a couple bottles of wine. Cause I was like, who doesn't love a glass of wine when they're crafting? And I, <laughs> I looked like I was going through a crisis. I had like, I got some of the Halloween cookies that have like the ghosts on them. And then I also had two bottles of five dollar red wine and then two boxes of hair dye <laughs> i must have looked so sad <laughs> and like all this makeup and stuff oh my god i'm crying okay but the the ulta inside this target is insane like it had like mac kat von d like it it didn't feel like a regular like grocery store little like Ulta or Sephora or whatever. It had so much stuff, but then the hair dye selection was like nothing. So I've also never used box dye before. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah, I was going to go to Sally's, but then I was like, I can literally just use box dye from Target. Like it's not going to be that complex. Okay, let's go dye some stuff. So much stuff to dye today. Both the extension and the wig died. I don't, I'm actually still scared of this wig. I'm not even gonna lie. And then also like, it bled so, it bled so bad. Probably our best bet is the extensions still. But I'm gonna take these out into the garage to drip dry. It's also like exceptionally hot in the garage so they'll just dry better. Apparently I didn't rinse this out all the way but I swear there wasn't like, dye coming out of it when I rinsed it. Okay, maybe I need to rinse this again. Uh, I literally think it's just this freaking wig. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go dry these. It is now time to finish our little pigtail extension pieces. So they're in like multiple pieces. I'm just gonna literally line them up and run them through my sewing machine so that they're all one piece. And then I have these ponytails, one second. I have these ponytails that are like long pieces that roll up. I'm literally gonna cut them and I, at the end, I'm gonna sew them on as well. And then we'll just put, um, they'll be like the very end. And then we'll just put another one over top. And um, yeah, and then I'm probably just gonna like sew them on the day of to the right length. Like while they're in my hair. That's, that's how it's going with these because she hates me. I forgot to take these clips off. I have to do that. Okay, I got this sewn on. I think it's gonna work. Um, it just needs brushed out and then it's done, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. The last thing I need to do is my hair. I need to bleach my hair so that it works with this. Okay. Okay, I'm a disaster. Um, 
The last thing I have to do for finishing touches for this costume is bleach my hair because my wig didn't work out. Um, which it's like a four hour long process so I won't bore, it with, bore you guys with it. But I'm only going to bleach it. I'm not going to touch up the black underneath because um, it'll be fine. And then also like my natural hair will blend better with the rest of my wigs that I'm wearing instead of like the black on my roots. So I just won't bother with it this time around. <laughs> you know, okay. But I bleach my hair myself all the time and actually it's like a lot shorter than when I normally do it. So it'll be easy. Wait, I'll show you guys the products I use though. Hang on. Wait, do I have bleach? Um, wait, let me go like the Sally's. Okay, I use 20 developer and I use the Ion White Bright Cream and then I tone with um, the Wella T14, I think is what I normally use. I have 218, I think because I wanted to put silver in my hair last time. But I think I normally use the T14. And then normally when I do the black, I use the Color Charm Noir, which is supposed to be like the best one, because um, it's not supposed to fade. And it doesn't actually fade, so. And it doesn't, it doesn't like change, um, colors. It doesn't like turn blue or whatever. Okay, but I'm going to do my hair. I won't bore you with it. Um, if you want a hair video, it's not here because I do this shit so shoddy and you do not want to follow how I do it. Okay. I need to lit it. I have to clean off my counter. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it and we're going to do it we're gonna attempt to do it as quickly as we can because I have to edit this whole video today to get it out on Friday. This is the first week I haven't had the video ready to go out on Friday. So I'm like, it's Sunday, but I'm like panicking for some reason as if I'm not gonna have enough time. Um, cause I'm, I'm not gonna have any distractions after work Monday, Tuesday, and then I have Wednesday off and then traveling Thursday. So I can always do finishing touches on Thursday. It's like not even a big deal. Not even a big deal. And also the last thing I have to do for this video is uh, bleach my hair. That's it. Oh, and also find shoelaces for my shoes. I need to find black shoelaces for my shoes. They're somewhere here. And I can also pull some off of other shoes. So literally easy peasy, easy peasy. I'm just gonna do my hair now. So um, goodbye. I'll see you in like five hours. Okay, this is how my hair turned out. It looks um like slightly yellow at the roots still um the toner went on kind of weird but also really good and i was also trying not to be a baby with the bleach this time usually i chicken out with the bleach and then it doesn't end up fully bleached and it's like and then i'm upset with myself and i'm like i don't have to remember it's just hair yada 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 but i definitely really damaged this section of hair back here because it was wet after my shower for like five hours, which, you know, it's just the sign of really healthy hair. Anyways, okay, so checklist from this video of the finishing touches I had to do. We had to, um, what did we have to do? Oh my god, I don't remember. It's been like two weeks since I started this video. Okay, so we had, to, oh, we needed to do the wig, which was an epic failure. So then we pivoted, we did extensions, and I bleached my hair. The extensions are done, my hair is bleached. I have the extra ponytails to tie the hair in and then I just need to remember to pack um, some sewing supplies to make sure that I have it to finish that up. Um, and then we need to do the tattoos. I did the tattoos. Um, they're around here somewhere. They're like semi-packed with the jewelry. I completely redrew all of the tattoos printed them out, made sure all the sizing was all correct, and then printed them on tattoo paper. Uh, don't forget, you can print the exact same tattoos that I use. Mine were all hand drawn by me, and then obviously I just redrew them um, to be exactly how they are in the movie and to fit my body specifically, like especially the arm piece. The arm piece was absolutely designed specifically to fit my arm. 
but you are more than welcome to use them. I have a Google Drive linked below with all of my tattoos that I've ever designed or found or used, and they're in like little sheets that are easy to, they're like pre-planned out per costume for you to go ahead and print on tattoo paper yourself. I do have like a tattoo tutorial on my TikTok though. It's kind of buried. Maybe I should pin it. Um, but that can be another short for another day. Wig, tattoos. The last thing I need to do for finishing touches is replace the shoelaces in my everyday boots with black ones. Cause I rainbow ones, but that's, that can be done when I'm packing, honestly. So we won't even worry about that now. So I guess that means we're done, right? Right, that means we're done. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. I appreciate them very much. Comment if you have something interesting to say. This is like the most random video of probably the most distress I've been in while doing this. Um, I swear it's not normally like this. This is, was just like pure con crunch and I was also working on 17 other things while I was doing this so that didn't help and I started at work again. Subscribe. It's free. It literally costs you nothing and you can always change your mind later. Um, but you don't want to miss out on all of the fun stuff that I have coming. You know, there's just so much fun in my future. I literally spent two hours the other morning mapping out my future content over the next three months. And I have videos planned until the end of the year. After that, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but also I will have more free time then. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking around to this point. And I guess I'll see you next Friday. Yeah?